And then if you think it through your mind for another three seconds, you go, what happens if I like start missing reps and I can't add five pounds to the bar? Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from Strength Co. And today I want to talk about is Dr. Mike Isratel wrong about the linear progression and whether or not it works. If you like the video, like, and subscribe to the channel. So the first thing I want to say is that Dave Tate's Table Talk is an outstanding podcast. If you haven't listened to it, you will hear things from all sorts of different people from different backgrounds and their philosophy on training, which I like. And I like to hear people with different philosophies on training. And so Dr. Mike was on there last year, maybe it was 2022, and he had a segment about linear progression. Now, if you don't know who Dr. Mike is, he's from RP, Renaissance Periodization, very famous YouTuber. His videos are hilarious, outstanding, and well thought out. And I like a ton of his stuff. But I want to touch a little bit of how he kind of categorized starting strength and how he kind of talked about linear progression in a way that I don't agree with. Just real quick, if, if I may. Yes, yes. Um, you know, so the first thing you can do when you look at periodization, you just look at all the models separately. Yes. And you start to pick out features of them and you start to fi figure out sort of obvious downsides. So in the clip, Dave Tate is asking him about, you know, how programming progresses over time, understanding the different blocks of getting stronger and the different types of stuff. And he's even talking about how the further you get into kind of like intermediate and advanced programming, the more of a black hole it can become. I think he calls it a rabbit hole or a rabbit mind, just endless options. And we talk about this often. So Dr. Mike goes in and kind of lays out, hey, in order to understand how these things work, you need to separate them all. And he starts first by talking about linear progression. I like the fact that he's separating the separating these things out. I think as a lifter, you need to know what's going on. What I specifically disagree with him is just in his first take on the linear progression. All in all, I tend to agree. You can look at a purely linear progression and just like add five pounds to the bar mm -hmm. every time. Starting strength, that's what starting strength is. Yeah. And, and, and you say, wow, that, that seems really good. And then if you think it through your mind for another three seconds, you go, what happens if I like start missing reps and I can't add five pounds to the bar? So I think this is an important part to understand. First of all, what many people miss, and I'm not exactly sure why, is what is the name of the program that Dr. Mike is referring to? Starting strength. Think about the two words for three seconds. Think about them. Starting strength when you're getting started. So if you read these things at all, if you read the book, Starting Strength, if you read their programming book, if you listen to Ripito at all, what you will hear is that a beginner can go through a linear progression because a beginner is weak because a beginner is untrained. So you can't throw out linear progression right away with the answer of what happens when I can't add five pounds. That's good. That's good that you can't add five pounds. It's good that you started missing reps because it means you got the low hanging fruit out of the way. If you are detrained, untrained, 86 years old, 22 years old, it doesn't matter. And you can walk into the gym and your overall goal is to get stronger. Then that is exactly what you should do. You should add five pounds. Now where Dr. Mike and I agree with things, or at least I think we do as he goes on is of course you're going to need very variables later on. Of course, you might say, hey, I need to load this different, or maybe I have an injury sneaking up. Of course, all of those things are th true, but you can't say, hey, starting strength gets this wrong just because they want to add five pounds every time. Anyone that is a starting strength coach or affiliated with it knows once you're an intermediate, we all kind of have different thoughts in the way that you can go. The point is when you're new and when you are starting strength, you start and you want to get stronger, and the best way to do that is through a linear progression because you can add weight each time at the beginning. After that, go down your rabbit holes and go through your different segments. Hope you like the video. If you do, like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.